Hi everyone, I'm John Michael, and I am one of the writers and moderators of the SimCity Strategy Wiki for IGN Entertainment. You can find links to that in the video description. This video is a tutorial on how to successfully create a city to uh, take advantage of the electronics specialization. So here we are in a new region, or rather a new city in my region. And um, now, just a couple notes while I do these opening moves. This video will be heavily time-lapsed, unlike some of my other specialization videos. Um, that's because there is... Um, uh, the electronic specialization is the most time-consuming. And uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff I will need to do. Um, so, you know, basic setting up the city stuff that uh, I'm sure you guys don't need to watch or will be covered in other videos that I've done. Uh, for the most part, um, it's just a standard opening move, but the main difference, or the main attraction, so to speak, of the uh, electronic specialization is you have to have some good education in your city. So we will get into that once we get a little more set up here. Um, I'm just, like I said, going through my opening moves and just enough so I can start drawing a profit and then we'll come back and revisit the city when it's a little further along so you can see the next step and uh, pursuing the electronics specialization. So we've let a little time pass and the little tiny town has grown uh, fairly significantly. We have 6,000 citizens living in the town, making over 3,000 an hour, 50,000 in the treasury with no outstanding debts. Can't ask for a better start than this. Um, so now it's time to worry about education. Now, um, even though education is extremely important in general and uh, basically essential for the electronics specialization, you don't want to necessarily prioritize education over everything else. As you can see here on the left side, we have our police station and our fire station. And way over here next to our oil plant, we do have a garbage dump. Education should be the fourth priority out of those main social services, uh, only because um, although educated sims do have a big significant impact on basically every little part of your city, there are more pressing matters at hand this early in the game. And while you can always educate your sims later, you know, if there's a fire to an essential building early, your town may be pretty screwed by, uh, before you even really get started. So uh, you want to make sure your other services are intact and you're making a fairly decent profit. Right now there is a demand for residential zones. So we're going to go ahead and section off a small area over here. Assuming my guides come up correctly. And in this middle one, we're going to lay down our first grade school. Ooh, yeah, right about there. Now, um, once you lay down a school, you have your bus stop sign here that suddenly becomes active. You want to make sure every bit of your residential zones are covered in green. Bus stop signs are inexpensive, cost no upkeep. There's no reason not to have a bunch just everywhere. You want to make sure everybody can get to school. Because if you're going to do education at all, like, you know, it, it's not so bad to um, ignore education if you're doing the mining or drilling specializations. However, if you're doing anything else and you decide to go with education at all, then you want to go all in and have everybody educated as much as possible. In fact, I missed a couple here. There we go. Um, now, when you have a lot of citizens, you'll need bus, uh, bus, buses, pardon me, school buses, and you can do that with modules. I'll lay down a couple here, a couple extra buses. And we'll get started on education. You can see we have 570 students who are not enrolled, but that will change. Now, this is the first step of education, but um, if you're in a region that has already uh, had some work done like this one, um, you can go ahead and right off the beginning, start putting in the more important buildings here. Now, uh, if this was a new region, our priority here would be to give the city hall a Department of Education that unlocks all of these buildings here. But since we already have a Department of Education in a different town, we'll just go ahead and skip right to the next step. 
Now, um, your industrial buildings have what's called a tech level. You can view that on the tech level data view, which is here. You can see that all of these buildings are white. That's bad, even though this is the industrial zone. Uh, it's full of very low, dirty industries. So that is what we need to correct. Now, although your grade school and high school can be placed anywhere, and probably for the sake of logistics, it should be placed next to your residential zones, the university and community college buildings are different. You want to place these next to your industrial zones as close as possible, even if that means destroying a few in the process. Now, we need to expand out the industrial zone area anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I'm going to drop our university smack dab in the middle of the zones. Like I said, eventually I'll have three more squares here of industrial zones so we can uh, pack some more buildings in. You know what? I may as well do that now while we've got the money and I'm going to wind up needing the um, income from those zones. There we go. All right, so now we have a big industrial complex here. And now the university can't do anything right now um, because it's closed and it's hiring people, but we will get to that soon too. But the important thing is to have the university active. Now, if you do not have a Department of Education anywhere in your region, you can still go ahead and add a community college. That does not have a, the same requirement. However, the university gives you a few other added bonuses, which we'll get into in this video in a little later. But the uh, community college um, also doesn't have quite the radius of the university. So by plopping a community college, you'll only be able to affect the tech level of the very nearby industrial buildings. So, for example, if I were to place a community college here, I would probably be able to affect the inside area of the zone, but not necessarily the outer area, and certainly not this area over here. However, with the university, eventually, once it manages to get uh, open and we have, start having classes, uh, it will be able to affect everything in this entire region, possibly, or, you know, this area, possibly everything in the city. And um, that is, in fact, the secret to starting up the electronics specialization. In fact, we'll go ahead and go over here, and if you... Take a look at the first building. One of the require the only requirement to unlock the processor factory is five medium tech buildings must be in the city. Right now we have nothing but low tech buildings. That will change, and we're going. I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse. We'll skip ahead to where we finally get some medium tech buildings in the city, and we'll be able to start working on manufacturing some processors. Okay, we're a little farther along in our city, and we've survived a surprise monster attack that wrecked half of the industrial section. But now um, we have 187000 in the bank. We're making a profit of over 6000 an hour, not including our exports. Pretty good. And now it's time to actually uh, go with our specialization. So in the specialization, we simply pick the electronics category and go with a processor factory. It's 160000 Pretty expensive, but it will pay for itself. And we'll just plop it anywhere. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Right next to the burning building. Why not? Okay, now. We open the processor factory, and you can see from the pop-up box that it requires two types of materials. Alloy and plastic. Alloy is made from metal, which is uh, mined up by your ore. And plastic is made from oil, refined at an oil refinery factory. Now, we don't have either of those buildings, unfortunately, um, although you can make your own. In fact, that's why I have this oil well going. Uh, hopefully, eventually, we can have the money to increase the oil well, uh, get, some, get an oil refinery eventually, and make our own plastic. But for now, it's all right that we don't have any. Um, we'll just have to get it from the global market. So I have already placed a trade depot over here. As you can see, it's holding our spare oil. But now we can add a few more modules to it. We need three types of resources for this trade depot. Uh, we need, not only we need the, let's see, where is it? Oh, <laughs> the plastic and the alloy. We also need a section for the finished good, which is processors. 
Now, as you can see, we've capped out of this uh, trade depot. We only have uh, four spots and we've used all four. So I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the freight shipping warehouse. That'll free up a module spot and we'll replace it with processor storage lot. Just like that. Now I'll fix the uh, issue with the ind industrial zones eventually. They won't be happy that I just destroyed their uh, shipping warehouse, but we'll deal with them later off camera. Um, now we just go into the trade depot. And like any other uh, resource that you need to import or export, we go to manage global market deliveries. For plastic, we set it to import. For processors, we set that to export. And for alloy, we set that to import as well. Say okay. And that's all there is to it. Bef now, uh, doing the processors is extremely important because of the great work sites. We're going to jump over to the great, the nearest great work site for a second. I'm going to mouse over this, and you can see that, for example, for the solar farm, it requires 115,000 crates of plastic, 600 alloys, and 45,000 crates of processors. That is a lot. Of processors um, so you know the earlier you get started on it the better but before you can even do any of that even if you had the resources go back to your university and you click start research project in order to unlock one of those see here's the uh, whoops there it is the solar farm great work I would have to activate that in order to even unlock the ability to build it but as you can see from the pop-up box, it requires a school of science. And in order to build a school of science, you simply add the module. But again, like everything else in the game, everything takes requirements. We are not approved to add any schools at the moment, including the school of science over here. Um, because we don't, uh, the university has to teach so many students in one day. Now this is why having an education city is so important in a region that's already established. The university can only educate so many people a day, and the initial requirement just to even have your first uh, school is a thousand students in one day. Now we've got 645, that's admirable, but it's not quite there yet. And uh, there's only so much you can do with your own people. Now right now we are getting some other cities importing their students, but we have a few ways that we can help it out. If one of your cities are in the region already has a Department of Transportation, you can lay down some bus stops, especially laying down a bus stop directly in front of the university would help. There's like, uh, this bus terminal is uh, allowable in this city because we have one of our connected cities that has the Department of Transportation. Remember that a bus terminal allows regional buses. So if you have a bus terminal in any of your cities and you put a bus stop directly in front of the university, those buses will go around, collect students from all over, bring them into your university. That increases your tech level of your industrial buildings faster and increases your student count so you can start working on projects. If this is the first city into in a region and you're going for education, it's still doable. By clicking on your university, selecting um, the modules, you can add up to three dormitories. They're pricey too at 40,000 a piece. But adding a dormitory adds 500 students per plop without any other change. It's like the students just magically appear. So if I were to add this, even though I'm well, let's go ahead and add it, even though I have to take out a bond. And I'm going to wind up destroying several, uh, several industrial zones in the process, I think. Oh, no, let's just stick it right here. This way I'm not destroying anything. So this adds an immediate 500 students. Now, you can see yesterday here, we taught, and yes, I am ignoring that fire, even though I see it. You can see at the top of the university sta uh, window here that we taught 645 students yesterday. Simple math, we just added um, a dormitory that will give us 500. Added to the 645 yesterday, we will have over our 1,000 students necessary. So at the end of the day tomorrow, we'll be able to start a research project. And um, now again, this is now the all those research projects are independent of what you're doing with your electronics specialization. 
You don't have to have electronic specialization or any specialization in order to have a working university that has even all the schools, if you have enough cities in your region to work with that. However, it works uh, with the uh, with the electronics um, specialization indirectly because by uh, getting those that student count, upgrading the university, getting a new school of science, we can finally activate one of the great works and start collecting for it. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead again for a little bit. I'm going to show you how that collection starts. All right, so we have enough money, enough time has passed. We've had plenty of students come in. We built a school of science. So now I am approving the solar farm great work, even though it's costing a cool $175,000. Simple as that. Now it doesn't look like anything happened, but uh, if you click into the university, you'll see here, 0% research at the moment. As students come and uh, learn and as time passes, that will of course go up. And again, we'll jump ahead once the project is complete. It's been several game days, but we finally got the project approved or researched, finally built the solar farm and had it approved. So now we're just waiting here. It's you can see the framework at the great work site, but it of course needs resources to function. Since we're producing processors, we'll just click this button to send resources. And now as you can see, the little circle here is green, and that means any excess processors that we get will be sent to the solar farm uh, to help construct it. And at 45,000, we'll start exporting again. So that's all there is to it, and that's why education and the, uh, the electronic specialization is so important to the overall scheme of your region. And uh, you'll definitely want to have a city that can do it, although as you can see from this screenshot, your city will probably be pretty large and uh, unwieldy in order to take full advantage of education and manufacturing. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video helped out. Stay tuned to IGN Entertainment and my YouTube channel for more videos and information on SimCity. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.